All right, so let's take a look at quickly creating multiple caption blocks. So this is really useful if you have a side-by-side -side interview where someone might be talking over someone else. So here I have an interview of myself and my colleague Carl, and let's take a quick look at this. Spend a moment and cover that and just kind of say, hey, if you're getting this and it's yeah. freaking you out. Okay, so let's go ahead and type some captions in here real quickly. So once again, I'm just going to use my keyboard shortcut, Option Command A. I created another new style, Avenir Light Blue Center. Let's go ahead and choose that one. Click OK. Start our first new caption segment. And what you're going to see is that it automatically placed it underneath. That's because earlier, if I simply click on the caption inside of the program monitor, you can see that I now have this box that I can move around and adjust and place it wherever I want it to go, including changing the width and the height of that box as well. So once I have it in position, I'm simply going to now start typing those captions for Carl. Okay, so now we have the entire transcript done manually. Let's take a quick look and listen again. Spend a moment and cover that and just kind of say, hey, if you're getting this and it's yeah. freaking you out, Okay, so now that you can see Carl is all set, let's wind back to that first instance where I talk over him. And it's yeah. freaking you. And it's yeah. freaking And it's yeah. freaking Okay, so right there, it's on this and it's freaking you out segment. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this inside of the text panel, and I'm going to choose Add New Text Block to Caption. And when I do that, you'll see that it now creates this new caption on screen. Well, just as with before, with my Move tool, I can now select this block and move it over, resize it, drag it over into the center here, and I can simply double t double click, type my text, hit escape, wind back, hit play. Hey, if you're getting this and it's yeah. freaking you out. And again, you have the ability to stylize this independently as well. So I don't want it in, in blue. I'm gonna go ahead and select my text and let's change the fill color to white just to kind of offset it and differentiate the two captions within the same segment. Hey, if you're getting this and it's yeah. freaking you out, you know, it's really easy to uh, to fix it. Okay. Um, and here's another one where I say, okay, and he says, um, so we'll come down to this one, add new text block to caption, take my move tool, move this over, shrink it down, drag it over to the side, Select the text, change the fill, change the text. Okay. Wind back and hit play. To, uh, to fix it. Okay. Um, and then kind of dive in. So easy. So that's creating multiple caption blocks within a single segment. Now, once you've created your shareable track styles file, you'll see that it actually takes the names of the styles as you created them. But what if you don't like those? What if you want to change them? Well, it's as easy as changing them right here inside the project panel, and those changes will instantly be reflected inside of the track style drop down menu. So I can simply double click inside of here, and let's call this Avenir Light White Center, like this. Let's go ahead and zoom back out. And if we go over to our track styles now, you'll see that that change has been reflected. Avenir Light, white, all caps, center. Go ahead and change that. And again, it'll apply that to all of the segments inside my captions track. Okay, now one last cool thing. What if you need to make some kind of a change after the fact to that SRT sidecar file? Maybe you realized, maybe you took a look at it back in Premiere or somewhere and you realized, ah, oh, something is misspelled or you wanted to maybe even change the color if, again, the service you're uploading to supports some of the styling that gets stored within that SRT. Well, you can do this with a standard text editor. The nice thing is this is just a UTF-8 encoded plain text file. Let's go back to the desktop. Go ahead and rename this. And let's go ahead and open it up. And as mentioned, you can see things like the font color. And these are just hex values, of course, which you can 
easily change and swap. You can grab those colors directly from the color picker in Premiere or Photoshop or wherever. And as mentioned, because styling includes things like underline, I had the word Adobe Live underlined, and you can see what that code looks like to represent that here. Again, for those services that will support SRT styling. And that's a look at the new captions workflow in Premiere Pro CC 2021. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified of new videos each week. See you next time.